a bit glum. Well, actually... Oh, I don't care why. I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> As usual, you're just a little ray of hate. <laughs> so, I've noticed on my buddy page that my sister Angela is staying with you. You have buddies? Of course. Well, bud. D and 600 pending. I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> and for the record, your sister has been a wonderful house guest. Oh, she won't be a guest for long. Be warned, Jessie. Angela always gets what she wants. And right now, she wants a cushy job working for a celebrity couple in a swanky Upper West Side penthouse. She put all that in her status update? <laughs> no, you silly git. That's what Angela does. She's evil, I tell you. Evil. Oh, no, no. You are the evil one. You are the Darth Vader to her Luke Skywalker. Or at least Darth Vader had the decency to wear a mask. <laughs> but let me ask you this. Is she ingratiating herself into the family? Flattering people? Making herself indispensable? Well, sort of. Ish. She's the reason I left England. I was the nanny to Lord Taylor. Angela came to visit for the weekend. The next thing you know, I was sacked. You got fired? No, they, they threw me out in a sack. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jesse. Hey, Tony. Look, I've got some good news and some bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Uh, actually, I could really use some good news. Oh, uh, well, now that I think about it, it's really just bad news. <laughs> Look, is it okay if we take a rain check on our day tonight? Why? Did the bowling alley run out of shoe freshener? <laughs> well, shoe freshener? What? Are we bowling at the White House? <laughs> no, Angela asked me to help her pick up her stuff. Angela? Well, why do you have to help Angela tonight? Well, she can't pay to store her stuff anymore, and they're gonna throw it all out tomorrow. Huh. She said you'd be okay with it. She did? Yeah. She went on and on about how understanding and sweet and generous you are. Well, that does sound like me. <laughs> okay, go for it. Hey, where's she moving, anyway? Into your place. What? That's news to me. Well, then I do have good news. <laughs> Bertram, why is Angela moving into our penthouse? Um, because it would be odd if the live-in maid didn't live in. <laughs> Morgan and Christina approved it. Wait, they know about Angela? Yeah. The kids have been texting them nonstop about how much they love her. And besides, I need some help around here. Oh, why? You need someone to spot you while you nap? <laughs> yes. Sometimes my head falls forward and I wake up with a crick. <laughs> hey, guys. So, did you have fun roller skating? Yes. The two minutes I was not face down on the concrete were quite enjoyable. Awesome. Angela's the greatest. She taught me how to do this. It's cool when you're on wheels. <laughs> and look, thanks to Angela's scream, my face is back to normal. <laughs> you say that like it's a good thing. <laughs> oh, and check this out. <laughs> what was that? I got in that. He was just so sad when you took away his car. Mm -hmm. Angela is a giver. <laughs> Great, great news, all oh, great news. Speaking of great news, Angela. I hear you're moving in. Yes, it's all so exciting, and it came out of nowhere. <laughs> like a hungry crocodile on a gimpy gazelle. I cannot wait until tomorrow morning. Angela says for breakfast, she's going to make toad in the hole, which I hope does not involve an actual toad. <laughs> well, you know, I would have made you a delicious breakfast this morning if the power hadn't gone out and messed up my alarm clock. All of our alarm clocks worked. Maybe the power just went out in your room. Or maybe Angela unplugged my alarm clock in the middle of the night. Evil Agatha was trying to help me. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that coming. Apparently, I don't see a lot of things coming. Uh, uh, uh. Thanks for watching. Now click left or right for more great shows or subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Disney Channel YouTube clips.